Hi boys and girls, I want to review with you today more musical road signs. Uh, music symbols is what they're actually called. I call them road signs because they tell us where to go and when to get there. So, to review. This is our treble clef sign. It's also called the G clef because it wraps around, always around this G line. That helps us to have a reference point when we are trying to do lines and spaces, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, in our music. You know where one is for sure. In the bass clef, this backward C, these two dots always go around the F line. So this is a bass clef, but it's also known as the F clef because it leads us to the F line. Once again, when we're trying to figure out our lines and spaces. When you have a bracket that goes like this, and combines the treble clef and the bass clef together, that's called the grand staff. That, when we are doing um, multiple parts, guy parts, girl parts written separately, <clears throat> puts it all together for us in one package. The next space that is left after our clef signs is the key signature. <coughs> if there's nothing written there, it's still a key signature. And do you remember what that is? The key of C. No sharps, no flats. That space still exists. I may put a sharp or a flat in there. I may put that one flat sign and make it the key of F. Then our next space is our meter sign or our time sign. And what do the numbers tell you? The top number tells you how many beats in a measure, the bottom number tells you what kind of a note is equal to one beat. When there's a four in the bottom, the quarter note gets one beat. Quarter note. Now, the five lines, four spaces we write our music on is called the staff. But if we didn't have some way to split that staff up, we would have music just running off the page. We'd never know where we were. So we put bar lines in. These bar lines split the staff up so we know what measure we're in. And remember that the space between one bar line and the other bar line is called one measure. It's called one measure or it can be called one bar. Either term is correct. A lot of jazz musicians say bar, a lot of band people say bar. In choir we usually use the word measure, but not always. Either one is correct. And in every one of these measures, I have to have four beats. Whatever number's on top, I have to have that number of beats in that measure space. We keep going, and we come to the end of a song, or we come to the end of a section of a song. And if you'll recall, those two lines are called, mine look a little wonky, but that's okay. They're called double bar lines. And that means the end, finished, done, or something's fixing to change in the music. The word fine means finished or the end. Remember that our musical words come from the Italian language, so it's fine. Now, let's look at a few more to review. The coda sign, remember it's an optional ending. When I only need to redo like the last line of music, I don't want to repeat the whole song or I have to reprint that whole song. So they might go back and give you uh, a coda sign, let's just say, here on this measure right here, here's your coda, and earlier in the song they wrote, sing to the coda, so you'd come to this measure and it would say coda, and it would mean sing this measure and then go to the coda sign, wherever it is, and sing that measure. The DS, if they have DS alfine, it means go back till you see this sign, the del signo sign, and sing until you um, come to the end of the song, fine. Again, it keeps them from having to reprint line after line of music. Just go back and sing it over again. DC alfine at the end of a song means go back to the beginning and sing until you see the word 
fine. So we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of the song and sing until we see the word fine. That way they don't have to print that song twice. There's one sign that we haven't talked about, and that's the repeat sign. Remember, it's a double bar line with two dots. You sing along, and you come to this sign right here, and it means go back and find its bookmark end and sing that whole section again. It could be two measures. It could be the whole song. But you're going to look for this bookmark. There's almost always a bookmark. So this is our repeat sign. I hope that helps remind you of everything. I know my board's a little small here at the house. We don't have that great big thing like we've got at the school. But this should uh, kind of be a good review for you. And then when you take your little quiz, you can refer back as many times as you need to. Have a good day.